did a huge fail. We had this huge tree fall with a big crash at the end. And I forgot to hit play or record. So mad at myself. But yeah, it was a great, a great show that you guys won't get to see this time. But we got lots more trees to cut, so you'll get to see it eventually. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> hey, at least I'm recording now. Yeah, well, some people just <laughs> got to be smarter than the freak camera itself because I had the freaking bears pissed off. I mean, look, they were so mad they dropped this tree because somebody wasn't recording. But yeah, that was like the perfect drop. I even better too. And that's the reason why she couldn't, she couldn't record it because she didn't want to show actually i said i'm dropping it that way and guess which way it dropped that way yeah no i knew it was dropping that way because i want it by the pile so i can move all the branches there when i'm ready because that's the bone yarn so yeah it's uh some people like oh the freaking there was a moose that ran by that was like <laughs> mad i don't even understand it i turned around and i was like i got done cutting this thing and i I said, what the heck is wrong with her? She looked mad. I'm like, that's like the perfect tree I dropped. And I mean, the thing's like 30 inch round on the base. And all of a sudden, she, it looked like she was just mad, like a piece of wood hit her upside the head. So she was jealous that she didn't have that freaking helmet on. <laughs> so, yeah. My biggest thing is, is, uh, being able to just get it down, I mean, you can see the size of these logs. There's like 10 of them at eight, eight and a half foot. I cut them all out. So. It was such a cool drop though. And the way it crashed and the noise and I missed it all. Yeah. So mad at myself, it's not even funny. But the, the problem is people don't pay attention to everything they do. They rush, rush, rush. It's well, I got like, the first it's, half. It's kind of like being a developer, you know? People like to rush us, then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're like, why is there bugs? Well, I got bugs on my face, too. But why is there bugs in my code? <laughs> so, simple fact is, is, you know, take time for it. You know, make sure it's ready. Click it. Boom. Okay, stop it. You know, you can delete that one second clip. Boom. Start it again. That's how I do it to remember now. Cause, I mean, I've done it, everybody's done that mm -hmm. to where they messed up, yeah. So, but that was a beautiful one. I mean, now I got leaning tower of Pisa, I might leave that one for good. <laughs> That'll be the cutest symbolic thing ever. I'm like, dude, really? Are you going to the sun? <laughs> that thing's traveling, mm -hmm. but yeah, I've been wanting to get rid of that one so. Because uh, I talked to somebody and he said he needed some 4 by 6s I said, well, you come on down and you cut them. And you can have some. Because I ain't got no more. I'll cut you a tree down and then boom. You know, we won't record the tree. You know how that works. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just can't be mad about it. I just get sad about it because I turn around like, what the frick did I do wrong? <laughs> I'm like, why are you so mad at me? And it's like, because I look like the beaver freaking kicking sawdust everywhere. Yeah, I'm flinging my hands up in the air going, I quit, I quit. Yeah, I can't hear nothing. I got I these know. things on and this girl thinks I can freaking hear everything in it. So I like that helmet. So. <laughs> that sound, it's sharing soundproof. I don't have to hear all the garbage and stuff out here, you know, going, <laughs> I quit. And then all of a sudden the bear's mad and the deer are freaking hiding and Robin is scared and chipmunks are like, what the frick? 
they thought they were pissed off. <laughs> <coughs> but other than that, yeah, this is going to be where our, the, all the RVs will be. We came to the conclusion of this. But all the way up to the hill. Well, not all the way up to the hill, but we're going to, each one will have its own yard plus privacy in between. There's tons of saplings, so we can replant if needed to put saplings in between or go down and get a bushes that grow, you know, whatever, four or six foot high, or guess what? We can build wooden fences <coughs> in between each one. So everybody's got privacy. So yep. then... Because we like privacy in our RV. <laughs> so then... Back there is the hill. It goes way up the mountain there. Then basically, that everybody's backyard. You know, whatever, whatever spot you're in, that whole area is your backyard. I think I said 20 to 30 foot wide. <clears throat> 20 foot wide is nice because then you can be able to pull the, the RV back, detach, or a Class A. If you're Class A, you'll mm -hmm. be backwards anyhow. So, because I'm not building for Class A's, you'll just have to back in. Uh, because <laughs> everything's on driver's side, yeah. So, you'll just have to back in because we're accompanying for trailers. Not everybody and their brother has a Class A. Um, because those things are expensive. If you have one, if you want to donate it, that's fine. Heaven's Homestead would be happy to take that from you. And if it's old and ancient, I'll be able to take it from you and gut it and make a truck trailer out of it. One whole piece, just cut it. Then it has a trailer and a cab. It'd be kind of cool with truck and trailer. Huh, good idea. Um, so before we were gonna say, okay, this is the way in and to come to this property personal side over there nah we'll stop up here but we'll have a gate there as well um and that'll be private but everything over here anybody can go wherever except in other people's areas that are occupied unless they invite you but if you're caught doing that stealing there's old laws that we could follow. But I think the New Testament took over. You're lucky. So, bottom line, um, but some countries still honor that, cutting off hands for stealing. Uh, you think we're, we're tough here in the United States? Holy cow. Uh, look at Sri Lanka. They're rioting everywhere because government is not feeding them. So, bottom line, people need help. That's what Heaven's Home says about. There's four by sixes in that. So, David, when you get time, y'all don't know who David is, but one day you will. Come get him. Uh, <laughs> there's, I mean, there's a lot of four by sixes. I can actually build beams out of these. So, bottom line, we got tons of lumber I was running out of logs that are over eight foot so because I'm getting cut happy over there because I got a ton of lumber yeah which is what we need mm -hmm. a ton of lumber yeah I mean I actually what I need to do is build racks so that way I could set all this lumber up can have it separated, everything separated out. I can tell you the bugs are mad they cut their tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm used to them. I've already eaten five today. It's got <laughs> protein. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we've uh, succeeded, brought down another one. This one I've been wanting to get down because it was so old that all the limbs were gone all the way up about what uh, two three four five six seven eight about 70 80 feet up then the rest were all limbs but i just knocked down a whole bunch of them delimbed them so 
<coughs> everything's cut eight and a half foot, so it gives me wiggle room to move around and cut. It was a beautiful fall too. I'll just tell you that much. It was. It was you know, I don't, I don't. Probably the best yet. Yeah, it's just called epic failure of my camera woman.